Привет, товарищи. Today, we're going to be going over my Soviet-Afghan war impression. So, sorry if the lighting is a little off, uh, it's like 7.30 here, I am, it's the night before I leave to go to Russia, and I decided I'm gonna make a, one more video before I go, so that's this video, sorry about the lighting, you're, by the time you're watching this, it's pro I'm probably already in Russia, so I can't really make any more of this type of video, but we have some pre-recorded that I'll release occasionally, and I'll make update videos while I'm there. So, yeah, let's get into the impression. So obviously, as we regularly do it, I'm gonna start from the top and go to the bottom. So on top, we've got the uh, classic Afghanistan cap. It's just a side cap, or not side cap, a like brimmed cap with uh, fold down sides so you can kinda cover your chin or ears if it gets cold, which you don't often see pictures of soldiers doing that, so I'm going to leave them up, and you often see them wearing it kind of on top of their head. This hat's also too small for me, so I'm just going to sit on top of my head. The next thing down is also the helmet, which the SSH-68 was designed to be worn with a hat underneath. Specifically, this hat could be worn underneath it, and was intended to during the Soviet-Afghan War, and was often done, so the uh, kepi or cap would be worn underneath the SSH-68, which is this helmet. And you don't often see him wearing it like this, but it's definitely been done like that, so just for uh, reenactment or impression purposes, we'll just do it like that. So the uniform itself that I'm wearing is the M88 Afghanka uniform. And it was designed before 1988, and it was actually issued to the VDB and special uh, units. Uh, but it was officially adopted as the standard uniform in 1988, thus the name, M88. It's the same material or similar material as the M69, but has quite a few more pockets, has a little bit bulkier fit, and less the, like doesn't have the flashy bright buttons as the M69 did. The pants have a sewn seam on the top, and... Uh, two more cargo pockets as well as side pockets here. In total, the coat has one, two, three, four, five, six pockets, two on the sleeves and four on the torso. And the pants have four, two on the hips, and two uh, just like hand pockets up top. Underneath the uh, coat, I'm wearing a telanyashka, or telanyashka. I probably have a terrible pronunciation of that. And on the lapels, I have tanker pins because I was also working on a tanker uniform, that, but this is not that. I forgot to take the pins off, sorry about that. So the chest rig I'm wearing is the Type 56 Chikom, which was designed in China and used by the Mujahideen, but Soviet soldiers would take them off of the Mujahideen and use them, and you see a lot of pictures with them using them. And they even designed their own sort of thing uh, based on it, called the Lifchik, but it was not really used and they cost so much money. So I'm using this. Uh, in it I have a grenade in this pouch. I have a bayonet, which this is the East German bayonet. Technically I should be using the Soviet bayonet, but they're pretty expensive and I didn't really feel like spending a lot of money. And then I'm also using these uh, homemade replica flares and they're okay replicas. Uh, they're just made out of some PVC pipe and a bottle cap, but they do the job. In the next pouches, I have four AK mags. Technically, these should be the 545 Bakelite mags, but they work. Uh, then I have a bandage uh, in this pouch, and this is just a Soviet bandage. It's packaged up in like a kind of canvas material, and that goes right in there. And then the last one I have a tourniquet, and this is the tourniquet they uh, 
they used in the war. I'm not sure if this is an actual wartime one, but it is one. Uh, you often see these wrapped around the stocks of the VDV troopers on the triangular folding stock AKs. So the pants for the uniform are the Afghanka pants. They've got a pocket here and a pocket here. They're pretty heavy duty. They're cargo pants, basically, so they're fine. The boots are the Soviet high boots. And these were used all the way up into the Afghan war. I guess they were that effective. I am using these. The VDV used lace-up boots, which they eventually switched to after the war. But these are accurate for that time period that I'm portraying. There's not a lot to go over with this uniform, just because it's pretty simple, and so was most of the gear and equipment from the Afghan war. But it's still a really interesting uniform and quite a pricey one, actually. This, uh, the Afghanka actually costs quite a bit and I got the wrong size and I couldn't return it, so I guess I'm going to be stuck with the big one. Because they tend to be upwards of $100 for, especially for the more common sizes. So, kind of sucks, but it's fine. This is the later Afghan war. Towards the beginning, they used the M69 uniform with just like the belt set. Uh, but then they started to evolve the gear and use it. And for all of you who follow me on Instagram and know I'm working on a VDV impression, this is not VDV yet. I'll have that done eventually, probably after I come back from Russia. But for now, this is what I have for you guys. Hope you like this, this kit. Um, leave a comment, leave a like, helps out the channel. Thank you guys for 200 subscribers. That was a little while ago, but I don't think I've made a video since. But, yeah, again, thank you. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.